In this video, we will find out what is wrong with our cows and how the cows influenced our genes. And also today, we will tell you the whole truth about our domestic pigs. Why did we do it to them? Watch and listen and we are starting right now. <laughs> the amazing is always near and especially there is a lot of it where you would not even think to look. For example, what new can be said about cows? They have been saving us from hunger and cold for several thousand years. They even managed to influence human genes. We are the only living creatures in the world that have adapted to digest lactose in adulthood. What does it mean? This means that our distant ancestors had a notable diarrhea from a glass of milk. But in the modern world, dairy products are an integral part of a healthy diet. It is interesting that some peoples are still not lactose susceptible. Most often this feature is observed in those in whose culture animal husbandry was not developed, for example, the Chinese. But back to the topic. The sapiens got so much milk that they turned their ruminant friends into grass-fed dairy plants. Today's cows produce several times more milk than calves can drink. And therein lies the big problem, the first cow fact. Cows need to be milked for their own health. Even if all the bins are full, even if the milk is already splashing out of the household's ears, you must go and milk the cow. Stop milking for a couple of days and the beast will develop utter inflammation as it literally swells from milk. And if you risk not milking further, then the pet may even die in terrible agony. It turns out that we took a living and free creature, knocked it out of its usual life and turned him into a kind of factory. But if the females became our nurses, then the males took on the role of Toastmaster. But they don't come up with contests. Human has already done it for them. Bullfighting is a spectacular show with a matador, a bull and a red rag in the lead roles. But why is the patch of cloth necessarily red? To grab the attention of the audience, of course. Cow fact number two tells us that an aggressive cloven-hoofed animal absolutely doesn't care what racks to attack. The bull is annoyed not by the color of the rack, but by the movements that are done with it. Only the best matadors perform in the bullfight, the bad ones simply do not survive. Bulls for bullfighting are special, they are deliberately taken out strong and evil. Sometimes it is not realistic to cope with an angry animal, even in a corral. But cunning people have a wonderful old-fashioned way. A nose ring. The principle of operation is simple. The nasal cartilage of a bull is very sensitive to physical influences. It is worth pulling on the ring and the bull will experience a whole range of emotions. The unfortunate ungulate has no choice but to understand that the best way to avoid pain is to obey humans. It was such a sad cow fact number three. Now let's move on to the pigs. They have a reputation for being unclean animals that sweat profusely while wallowing in the mud. In reality, they have extraordinary abilities. They say that pigs pick and sleep in feces. Pigs sweat like pigs. Pigs are dirty animals. A male pig can have an orgasm for half an hour. Fact: Most of these stereotypes are best attributed to poor conditions of detention. In the wild, wild boars do not sleep in feces and do not pick them. They roll in clay, but only because it is a great way to cool the body during the heat. Domestic pigs are often pink, but we humans made them that way. By the way, pigs do not have sweat glands, so the expression sweats like a pig is meaningless. I do not eat animals that lack cleanliness to this day in their own feces. So said Jules Winfield, the Pulp Fiction bandit, explaining why he doesn't eat pork. 
If Jules had known a little more about Bix, he probably would have not spoken so hasty and arrogantly about them. Rabbits, for example, willingly swallow their fecal pellets to once again drive the poorly digestible herbal meal through digestive system. And after all, it never occurs to anyone to speak rudely about eared and fluffy rodents. On the contrary, we think of them as cute creations. Wild boars, the original distant cousins from which we bred our domestic pigs. Yes, wild boars are omnivorous, not showing increased pickiness in food. And yet, 90% of their diet is plant foods, so they are unlikely to have any particular predilection for their own excrement. If the domestic pig chews excrement from time to time, this is most likely due to the fact that its dwelling littered with impurities leaves it no other choice. By the way, the domestic pig sometimes chews on impurities, but wild boars were once caught washing apples in a stream. Now let's get down to hygiene. Boars do roll in the clay, but most likely they do it to escape the heat. The fact is that pigs do not have functioning sweat glands. This is something to keep in mind whenever you hear someone say that he or she sweats like a pig. This physiological feature means that pigs are at serious risk of overheating. And muddy clay water evaporates much more slowly than clean water. A pig, like any other animal, tries to create comfortable conditions for itself. If you have to roll out in the mud to feel the coolness, then so be it. Perhaps the pigs could have found another solution, but the conditions for this have not been created, since people keep them in rather cramped pigsties. The clay layer can serve other purposes, for example as a cream to protect the surface of the body from burns, or as a repellent for insects, such as mosquitoes or others. Rubbing against something to peel off dried clay can be an effective way to get rid of ticks and other parasites. The paradox is that when they roll out in the mud, they clean rather than dirty their skins. It is also worth mentioning that the pink, almost hairless animal that comes to mind at the word pig is a relatively recent human innovation. This is what a real pig boar looks like. Genetic evidence suggests that humans have domesticated wild boars twice. For this, two ancestral lines were used one in Asia and the other in Europe. The division of the ancestors of modern boars began long before domestication. Despite the long separate existence, Asian and European wild boars have exactly the same camouflage color. But the same cannot be said for domestic pig breeds. The genetic coat of their skins is very diverse and accordingly they show a great variety of shades and patterns of outer covers. We have achieved this diversity in less than 1000 years. Some scientists say that people selected rare mutations of wild boars that would be doomed to rapid extinction in the wild and created domestic pigs. Finally, we should turn to another popular myth, that a male pig can have an orgasm for 30 minutes. The first thing to say is that no one knows how males and females feel when they copulate. So any talk about orgasm is speculative. A 2012 report on the highest performing boars noted that they averaged 6 minutes to ejaculate. Such is the truth. Wow! What does this story teach us? One of the most rewarding qualities in life is to be interested in the most common things. Each of them is fraught with something unexpected and unique. Something that can affect your worldview or completely turn it around. And that's where we end this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself and believe in God. See you soon.